Hello everyone, my name is Nikki and welcome to this channel of crafting. So, how are you doing? Uh, we are in 2020, uh, in lockdown, um, which has had its difficult moments, uh, definitely. Um, but it has also had its good moments. Um, so for me, um, I've actually really enjoyed working from home because I can just, I can work my own hours. Um, I can take breaks when I want to. Um, and as long as I get the work done, no one really cares, um, how it's done. Um, which I think is really good to, to be moving away from this, like, ooh, how many exhausted hours have you been working to just being able to finish a product and be proud of it um so that has been good for me but i know that, that doesn't work for everybody so um let me know your lockdown pros and cons in the comments down below and yeah just comfort people be nice to people we we want to be supportive of everybody on this channel um but actually, um, one of the benefits of working from home for me has been that when I've taken those breaks, rather than going to get a cup of tea, um, I have actually been able to pick up my crafting. And so what has been happening in the world of crafting for me, I've been making a lot, a lot of socks. Um, so this started uh, because earlier on in lockdown, uh, a colleague of mine from work um, who mitts these amazing jumpers um, is also a knitter of a million socks <laughs> um, and she loaned me uh, some yarn and some double pointed needles and I was able to make these. So these are my first ever pair of socks um, and it's, it's just a really basic sock pattern. It's got rib stitching uh, at the top here and then stockinette stitch because you knit all the way around uh, and then uh, just a really basic heel uh, and then down to the toes and um, yeah I'd never knit in the round before so yeah this really basic pattern um, anybody could do it <laughs> um, you know don't be afraid to pick up your needles and try and I'm really I'm really happy with these they did end up a bit too big um, when I was casting on I uh, I thought they looked like they weren't going to fit around my legs and then actually I added some stitches and <laughs> when, they, when I cast off it was perfectly fine and it was actually too big. So um, these are now my husband's socks um, but he wasn't allowed them until I had ordered myself some more squishy post and in that squishy post uh, I just got um, quite a cheap yarn and I'm actually wearing these socks at the moment because they go really nicely with my trousers. Um, <laughs> I got this lovely purple colour. Now this is Drops Fable, I think it was, uh, in a berry shade. And again, it's just the same, just rib stitching and then stockinette and then basic heel. Um, yeah, and I did this slightly smaller so it does fit me better. Um, but what I was really proud of with this one is I wanted to do something to the toes. So I actually shaped them differently to the pattern. I did this side less slanted uh, and that fits my feet better and I, so I was really proud of that. Uh, second pair of socks and I'm already playing around with the pattern. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, so why why loads of socks? Um, okay, so when I made these, I was showing off to my family, as you do when you create something that you're really proud of. Um, and my mum was genuinely disappointed that I was keeping them myself. Um, and so when I ordered the second lot of yarn to make my second pair of socks, I also ordered something so that I could make her a pair. Um, so I, I got this, um, this is West Yorkshire Spinners, um, and it's their bullfinch colour, and it's just got all her favourite colours in it. It's got the, the black and the white, and then the red, um, so she'll love these. And these are a self-striping yarn. I only got one ball, um, so West Yorkshire Spinners bullfinch came in 100 grams. But because it's self-striping, I wound it into two 50 gram balls so that I could do both socks at the same time and get them right. Um, and actually there's loads left. And I've been really inspired by um, the Wee So-and-So and the Crimson Stitchery, who have both shown socks where they, they've done the, the cuff um, in a different colour and the, the heel and the toes also in a different colour, either contrasting uh, or something like from within the, uh, the multicolored yarn, um, picking one colour out. And they made really lovely socks, so I've been inspired by that. I want to get some red uh, and make another pair of socks out of what I've got left over from here. 
Um, but obviously once I got started, I couldn't really stop. So, uh, so that's my mum's pair. My mother-in-law has also got a pair. So hers is uh, Regea Eco, and I think it was the fire colour. And I actually made myself uh, a pair out of this. So um, the pair I made for my mum, I've already wrapped ready for Christmas. Uh, yes, I am being that organised. <laughs> um, only because I have to make so many pairs of socks. Um, so yeah, this, this is what... Um, my mother-in-law's socks are also already done and wrapped, but these are the pair I managed to make out of what was left. Um, and we just got this yarn for her because she's she's going plastic-free, or as much, much plastic-free as she can. Um, and we just thought she'd really appreciate the fact that this was recycled yarn. And my husband said she'd love the colour as well. And it is a really nice colour. It goes with a lot of some of the, uh, like the jumpers and hoodies I have in my collection. So yeah, I made myself a pair too. So... That's my mum, that's my mother-in-law. <laughs> um, uh, now, for my for my father-in-law, I actually um, currently got these cast on. So this is uh, Opal Safari that I've got for him. Uh, and this is my work in progress at the moment. So I've cast on and I've got to the heel, as you can see. So I'm just working, I'm past the gusset and I'm just working on the, t uh, the foot now. Um, this, when we ordered it, this looked more green on the website and he likes green, so that was a shame. Um, but he'll still like it. He's a runner, so he really appreciates good socks. Um, not that, <laughs> not that these are good socks, um, but he'll appreciate them nonetheless. Um, yeah, so that, that's his pair. Um, it's just a shame it, it's not as green as we thought it would be. And then for my dad, I actually, I originally got this colour because it looked like it was going to be like camo-y greens, but actually when it arrived, it's a lot lighter. Um, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to stick with this or whether I'm going to move uh, and swap it in for the yarn I got for my granddad's socks. Um, which, as you can see immediately, it's dark. It actually looks uh, a lot more like uh, the one I got for my father-in-law. They are different, uh, actually, because this is this is the Reagan Wald. Um, and this is, uh, this is Opal Jazz in Songbook. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to go for yet um whether i'm going to swap it out or not um but besides all of that uh, i i first had to try knitting a pair of socks that were deliberately big and not just actually accidentally big like those ones so i did i did make my husband a pair that were like actually made for him and not just given to him because it went wrong and i i love this color so much this is opal um i'm not sure uh, exactly which range but this is a colour called weather and yeah just it's so pretty um, and it is also self-striping so I had to line that up these worked out really well and they go with so many uh, so many shirts that my husband has in his wardrobe so he he loves them I'm really proud of how these came out and just a little bit yarn envy that <laughs> I don't have a pair myself um, so yeah that's how come I've now been able to cast on the ones for my father-in-law um, lots of sock bombarding. One more thing, just one more thing. I'm just going to show you the other colours I've got because they are really pretty. So this is uh, for my my husband's granddad. This colour here. I love this autumnal shade. Um, and then two two lighter tones for my uh, nana and my grandma, um, just because they're more into those pastel shades. Um, so that is my socks. No more socks. For now i will update you guys uh in future videos on how the sort of the christmas sockathon is going and the progress i'm making with those but before i go i just wanted to show you one of the non-sock items i've got uh in my in my whip pile um and i am making this so this is the persian tiles blanket and i love it i love the pattern so much it's quite fiddly and it's taken me ages to do but I, I don't really see Persian tiles when I look at this. I see uh, red giant stars and white dwarf stars. So I'm an astronomer. I specialize in stellar physics and <laughs> particularly these things here, these white dwarfs. Um, and so, yeah, this, is, this has become like my thesis blanket. This is the blanket I want to finish as I'm finishing my thesis. And it's quite small, actually. It doesn't look it on camera. Um, but it's maybe about a metre by a metre, so I want to make more tiles and actually make it bigger before I add the border. Um, but it's taking so long. Um, but I absolutely love it. Uh, so that is my, that is my pattern tiles blanket. So, 
yeah i hope you've enjoyed the video please leave your comments and feedback down below and i will update you like i said on the the christmas soccer fun as we go and I'll, I'll introduce some of my other um my other makes in the process too um and also i've actually whilst i've been doing all these socks i've got a, a plan to do an, a non-basic sock i want to really try a lace pattern that i found so i will bring that to you in future as well um anyway i will see you guys in the next video